Today's video is packed with deep cleaning motivation as well as a little Target haul. I ran to Target last night and found a bunch of cute stuff for Christmas and also for Oliver, so I can't wait to share that. And I'm also going to be practicing Oliver's little smash cake for his first birthday party. And it's going to be a fluffy black and white cow cake, so wish me luck on that. I put the frosting in the fridge to get that ready. Um, but before we get started, it's noon and I'm so hungry, so I'm going to start out with a factor meal for lunch. And thank you so much to Factor for sponsoring today's video. Factor provides balanced eating made simple and they deliver nutritious meals right to your front door. And they are delicious, handcrafted by chefs. The one I'm making today is the jalapeno lime cheddar chicken. I'm gonna show you mine here in a second after it's cooked and do a taste test, but Factor meals come together in minutes, taking the guesswork out of what to eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Their menus are updated weekly, and you can choose your favorite meals and let them craft your order based on your taste preference and your meal history. Every Factor meal is cooked by real chefs, and when you taste it, you will immediately know. Unlike any other prepackaged meal, they use the freshest ingredients and none of it is frozen along the way. And this is a game changer if you're a mom and you're tired of cooking and cleaning up dinner every night. It takes all of the guesswork out of it, and you and your family still get to eat incredibly delicious meals. My meal today took literally seven minutes, and it was ready, and honestly, my favorite meal to date. I was raving about it to my husband and my family family on text and I just love this service. It went far beyond my expectations. It's so, so delicious. Get started with Factor for up to 60% off your first box using this link here on the screen or you can click that link in my description box below and just use the code LaurenYarb60 and thank you so much to Factor for sponsoring today's video. Okay, now for the taste test. Oh my gosh, y'all. Y'all, this is my favorite delivery service ever. <laughs> this actually tastes way better than any restaurant chicken I've ever had. It's so good. If you like spicy stuff, it's a little bit spicy with the jalapeno. And then they served it with some cauliflower rice. I think it's cauliflower lime rice. Let's try, let's try that. Okay. So good. This is the best factor meal I've had yet. Highly recommend it. So delicious and I didn't have to do anything, and there's zero cleanup except for this fork. <laughs> I wanted to start out in our guest bathroom today because if you're a longtime subscriber, you know I always avoid this bathroom. It's the one that's probably the least used and so I always clean the whole rest of the house and then when I get done, I'm so tired I never get to this one. So this one hadn't been cleaned in quite a while and it was in desperate need of it. Oliver's tub does get wiped down after he gets a bath, but lately he's actually been taking baths in our bath. so. This bath has just been neglected. And also, I will say this, Oliver has not been loving his baths lately. He's always loved baths up until about 11 months old. And this past month has been horrible. He will not even get in. He screams bloody murder. So I'm not really sure what's going on with that. If you've had a toddler do this, then let me know in the comments what you did to try to help with that. We bought him a bunch of new bath toys. That little baby shark you saw, he sings the baby shark song and he blows bubbles out of his mouth. We got him that little thing where you drop the balls in and you can also pour water in it. Lots and lots of new toys. I've even tried getting in with him and he will not. He hates it. So we've been doing lots of sponge baths and then when we do have to wash his hair or something, we just have to 
hunker down and get it done. It is so sad. So if you have any suggestions for that, let me know. But I went ahead and pulled that bath mat up, sprayed everything down with Kaboom, and now we are moving on to the sink. I'm so excited for Oliver's birthday party next weekend and we have lots of gift wrapping and planning going on over here. But I do have a question for all of the moms out there or anyone who throws parties a lot. What is your greatest tip for preparing to host a really good amount of people? I have my menu ready, I have all of the decor, but now it's just a matter of kind of getting everything all done. And it's exactly a week away, so I would love any and all tips that you have. I'm a new mom and I haven't really hosted very much at my house before other than our gender reveal and a few minor things. So I'm a little new to this, but I'm also really excited. I'm just like, when do I start blowing up all of the balloons? When should I make the cake and refrigerate it? So many things to get done, but this is so much fun for me. I love planning things and seeing them come to fruition. It's like the grand prize. So I'm excited, but let me know all of your tips in the comments below. Wanna shake the ground, wanna break away, let loose. I'm tired of waiting, gotta make that move. All the neon signs, now they shout to me and you to write a story, wanna shape the That birchwood and bonfire wax melt smells so good. It's one of those scents that's perfect for the bathroom because it's not too food-like, but it smells really fresh and really calm. It's not super overwhelming. And now I'm just gonna add some fresh towels in here. I'm gonna dust down everything. I'm thinking about doing a new little decoration above the toilet here. I kinda want something a little more simplified, just like a sign on the wall or a picture or something. But for now, I'm just gonna dust everything down and this toilet gets the worst hard water stains. It looks so gross, but it's because the water sits there and our water apparently is hard. So I did, I did get those little tabs at Walmart and in next week's video, I'm actually gonna be trying them. We're gonna try them throughout the week and I'm gonna let y'all know how I like them in next week's video but they're supposed to help your toilet not get stains and they're by scrubbing bubbles. I shared them in a haul recently, but next Sunday I'm gonna have a whole house clean with me. We're gonna be tackling a ton more than we are today and hopefully we can get to the bottom of these hard water stains. For now, I'm just kind of spraying everything down with bleach to see if they'll disappear. And here in a second, you're gonna see they mostly disappeared, but they're still a little bit. So hopefully those little tabs will help out. And then I also have a new concoction that I'm gonna try next week. So definitely stop back by again next week to see how all of that goes.
I'm using my Lysol mango scented spray to wipe down the toilet. Normally I'll just use some Clorox wipes, but I didn't have any today, so I'm just using a paper towel and Lysol spray to wipe everything down and disinfect. And the toilet looks so much better than it did. Next week we'll try to get rid of those stains for good. That would be so nice if I didn't have to worry about those anymore. But now I'm just going to go in here with my Dyson and get everything vacuumed up. Of course the toilet paper fell. Whoever hung that little toilet paper thing, they actually hung it backwards. And so anytime we bump it, it flies off. But anyways, we're going to get this vacuumed up. I'm not going to mop in here today because we are going to do a whole house deep clean of the floors on Monday and so just a few days away and then y'all are going to see that video next Sunday. So I am completely done with the bathroom. It looks so much better and now we are headed into the living room. I have Oliver's toys strewn all over the living room. Of course that little nugget couch, he loves that thing but it's always right there in the way. So we're going to get put get that put away and in next week's video you'll see where I store that. We've been storing it in the office in a little spot that has like an extra little crevice for it. So that's been working for us and we just pull it out when he wants to play on it. But I'm going to go ahead and put all of his toys up, get it vacuumed in here, and then we're going to steam clean this rug. Now that this rug is all vacuumed, I'm just going to go in with my steam cleaner. There's lots of baby messes in this rug. He, he will dump out his snacks, sometimes spill his formula. Um, the dog always helps eat up his snacks, so this rug was in desperate need of a really good steam clean. And not only that, this rug is fairly new, maybe a month old, and I'm trying to keep it as nice as possible. And we have these tile floors that get really dusty and dirty. And so when we track our feet on the tile and then onto the rug, it's just hard to keep a white rug white. <laughs> so I'm trying to do this as often as possible. And the little mixture that I use to steam clean works amazing. And that's honestly why I've been steam cleaning so much lately is because this little mixture does wonders for your rug. I've steam cleaned like every room in my house probably twice already this year. And it's just a mixture of Dawn dish soap, OxyClean fabric softener, and hydrogen peroxide. And I'll leave all of the measurements in the description box below, but it works so good. Come on now, come on, won't you come with me? Time to let it go and be free. Won't you come and breathe the open skies? Come now, come listen to the melody. Slow it down, put yourself at ease. Time to live it live. Get away from the do and do.
Okay, I ran to Target last night and I told y'all in my Christmas haul video that Target didn't have any cute Christmas sheets, but then I ran to a different Target last night and I found these and I fell in love. These are so cute, like a dark green color with white Christmas trees and they're flannel. Super fun for Christmas. I've never had green sheets before, so I'm excited about that. I may put some red pillows with those for a pop of color, but I love that. I picked up a little t-shirt for Oliver that has a shark on it because his little cousin Bella is having her birthday party this weekend and it is baby shark themed so I thought that was perfect. And then I also ran into this adorable little yellow jacket for Oliver and I think yellow is Oliver's color because he looks so cute in it and I thought he would look so cute running around in that. So picked that up for just 20 bucks and then I also ran into a ton of family Christmas pajamas and I never get these early enough and then I can't ever find them all in the same size for us. So I'm glad that I picked these up. They're not super cute, but they're classic Christmas pajamas. So if I can't find anything else before Christmas, we'll wear those. And I think they're still really nice. I also picked up some mittens for Oliver because they had a three pack for $5. The tag is missing, but they were five bucks for three pairs. And I thought that was a pretty good deal. And then, okay. So I'm trying to get on trend with these girls that are doing those like new rooster tail situations in their hair, but my hair is so thick and it won't fit in a regular clip like this. But then I ran into this one and it's huge and it opens super wide. So I'm hoping I can get my hair to look cute with this. Maybe I'll do this in my next video so y'all can see if it worked, but I thought that was cute. It's white on one side and black on the other. And then I always like to get Oliver's joggers from Target because they have a reinforced knee, they're super good quality, and they're usually like eight or 10 bucks. No wait, these are $13, but they do have some that are a little cheaper. These are cute with the little front pocket. And then I also picked him up a basic long sleeve maroon shirt. I thought that was cute for the Thanksgiving season that we're coming into. And he is in 3T for shirts, y'all. He can't fit into a 2T shirt anymore. He's so chunky. Um, I'm sure when he starts walking, he'll go back down to 2T. But for right now, we're in 3T. And then last but not least, I got this cute Merry Christmas mat. And if you watched my haul last week, I got that red and white layering rug for underneath. And I think that's gonna look so cute. So lots of fun Christmassy finds at Target yesterday. But let's go ahead and try to make this little smash cake for Oliver. How stinking cute is this little funfetti cake? It's the size of my hand. Actually, it's smaller than my hand. Super excited to decorate it. But what I picked up from Hobby Lobby was these disposable decorating bags. And I picked up two of these large star tips because that's gonna make the uh, fur on the cow look really fluffy. And then I also picked up these three color coupler. And honestly, not sure how any of this works. So let's try to figure it out together. But this is the little cake uh, plate that I got him. Let's see if it even fits under there it did in the store but once you bake stuff sometimes it raises up but it looks like it's gonna fit perfectly even a little extra room for frosting so that's good So I greased this dish and put some flour in there and it's still stuck so if you have any suggestions for that let me know in the comments below Okay, before I got started, I want to show y'all what I'm going for. So I don't want to do a face or anything like that because that'll make it too complicated. Um, but I love the way that this looks. It looks super fluffy and cute and you can tell that it's a cow. So I was thinking I wanted to start with white because it's easier. But I think I'm going to have to start with those black spots so that I can get them a good shape. And then we'll just fill in with white. Okay, I had two different types of heads for this frosting. I don't know what they're called. The little ends in pieces that make it like a star shape um, but they neither one of them worked I think they were both too big so I'm gonna go for a smaller one next time I'm gonna be redoing this in Sunday's video and I'm gonna tell you all about that in just a second but I could not make this worth work for the life of me partly because of the frosting and partly because the end of this little cake frosting thing was way too big it needs to be smaller so that it doesn't get so pointy I think so 
Or if you have any other suggestions, definitely, definitely leave them below because I still want to make his cake for his birthday because this is like such a simple thing you would think. Um, but anyways, if you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Okay, y'all, I'm so sad because I ran out of frosting and I can't even finish this. Um, this is nothing like I envisioned, but it's not horrible. And so I think what I'm going to do is get a different kind of frosting. This is the stuff that I used from Hobby Lobby. And I am not hating on this because I don't know anything about making cakes. But I do know I've made Easter bunnies like this before in years past for Easter. And the frosting was not this hard to work with because I've had this in the fridge kind of hardening up and it's still really ooey gooey. So I think I'm going to get some new frosting and go at this again on Monday. So I'm going to have this again in next Sunday's video. It's going to be a whole house clean with me getting ready for Oliver's party. And um, I'll try it again. And then if not, I'm pretty sure my mom can pull this off for me. I don't think it's necessary to order a cake. But honestly, this side doesn't look terrible. And then it kind of got worse and worse as we went because that frosting is just so hard to work with. <laughs>